Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisse and today we're gonna talk about the big issue with other water habitats. Not the biggest issue, the biggest issue is the fact that we just can't make completely underwater habitat. But one of the bigger issues I think personally is the fact that it's just empty. Uh, of course you can add some plants, some rock to make it more alive, but mainly here you can see I have the seals and the sea lions in here. And it's... Unless you have the animals down here all the time, which I cheated. I have this amount of land, so of course they're gonna be a lot more down here. But otherwise it will look extremely empty so what we gonna do with that well i have been on the hunt for a mud that could just be a filler fish and here it is i wanted something that was really really small and could just swim around and give us a bit of life inside of the habitat and also a fish that actually gonna stay beneath the water so I got this one, and this is the Atlantic Herring by Bubbly Worms. It's not a mother. I have, I don't think I ever used one of his mud or hers mud before, uh, so I don't didn't really know what to expect. But I really love this one. It's one of the newer ones, and uh, of course, link and it, all of that is link below, so you can go get it. Uh, yourself along with a tutorial from the production on how to install them into your games um, but look at <laughs> just the kind of mush muscles inside of the fish you can kind of see how they work how not every single muscle but you can kind of see how, the way it's moving and the way it can uh, vary in the tempo like it's uh, slow slow and then a bit faster now you can see and then the bubbles back here I love that effect I think every single animal underwater should have that effect they said they don't at this point um, but I think it's amazing with the when they do you do need to have XE installed to use this mod and I do think you need XE to use most of the newer mods out there um, it is kind of installed as a mod uh, on your computer but it, it doesn't do anything on its own other than allow you to use these kinds of mods um, but here we go uh, we're gonna go into the superior and i'm gonna make a big fast run through here I love this picture. The fish is really nicely showcased on this picture. Uh, and then you can see here we have a bit of text as we always have. Here the picture here shows where to find them. I also <laughs> really love this. You need one square meter for a fish and one square meter uh, water. So you need the same amount of land as water but you really doesn't need that much. Uh, so that's fine, I guess I would like that to be less than one square meter, but I don't think the game allows mothers to say that. Um, you need a grade 2 fence and uh, it needs to be uh, 5.94 feet tall. I think that's one, one and a half, um, almost almost two meters high i don't know why that doesn't translate because some of the mods just don't uh, even though my games are set to meter some of the mods just only uh, shows feet uh, yeah but finally a realistic group size i love it you can have 999 uh, i think it's maybe because it's you are unable to say a thousand 
Um, but most fish don't really... Maybe they have a group size, but you can have more than one group in a real big tank. So I think this is perfect to show that you can just do what you want. Then you get a bit of uh, info down here that the male are dominant uh, and the older men tend to have their own harems. They are polyamorous and uh, they are confident with human and humans can in can enter the habitat. I kind of want to show you their size if I can find one. I think you I just want to check. Yeah, you are adult. Um, I just gonna find something that we, everyone knows the size of. Maybe just this zero. <laughs> You can see here, it kind of... Yeah, it kind of fits inside this zero. And this is the zero f uh, 2D front... Bugolo? Uh, something like that. Uh, so they kind of fit inside that. So that is truly a small one. I have before added uh, mods that I thought where the fish should be this small, but they just wasn't in inside of the game. They have become much bigger than they actually would be in real life. Uh, but I think that's a new thing the mothers have learned to hack is the size of the animals, so that's beautiful. So we go back in here, um, but I didn't have that much to show you in here. They have a uh, age of sexual maturity, five years, and they will stop being sexual active at 30. I don't understand this. Life expectancy, five years. Sexual... Yeah, that's weird. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, bubbly wombs. Uh, you need to explain this to us better uh, because this just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, as I see it here, you have like from you turn five to till, until you die as five to get babies, and that would make it quite difficult to get babies. But uh, maybe that's just me. They get between one and four babies, and they get baby every second year. So, so if this is real, then you can only get babies once in your lifetime. If we go in here, they can play with the balls, the sprinkler, which means they will go on land if you use this, then the water jet and the rubber doggy. Only food enrichment is this old underwater feeder, uh, which means that this one will work, but this doesn't uh, work for for the Atlantic herring. You would need the bigger one. We're just gonna find here that would be our smallest baby. Where are you? Oh, you dare, you're so small. Okay, because a lot of the fish mods I've used until now, they actually have the same size, whether or not if they are grown or juveniles. But this is clearly smaller. Um, just gonna wait until it... Wait, I'm just gonna... Sorry, change the time here so we normal time. Would you please swim to an adult so I could see you at the same size? That would be wonderful. Remember that mods aren't approved by Frontier, therefore if you ruin your game on any level uh, by using mods, then it is your own problem. Uh, I haven't experienced any problem that couldn't be resolved by either uh, uh, removing the mod or choosing to... Uh, once I actually had to reinstall the game, but nothing. Uh, and, and but that was pretty much all I had to do. Uh, I haven't tried anything uh, worse than that, uh, and I haven't had any uh, virus or anything like that uh, by using much. 
That doesn't mean that it can't occur, though. Uh, I just personally haven't experienced it, and I had tried quite a few. If you just remember to install it the right way, and I would say even though you have used mods in other games, maybe you should still watch a video on how to do it in this particular game, just to be sure you put it in the right file. Uh, Planet Zoo doesn't have a mod file, as many other games do, uh, so you have to use another file to put it into, and therefore just watch a video. A lot of videos about this is pretty short. I recommend the one from Leaf Production that I have linked below. Uh, here you can see the size different, finally. Uh, it was a bit smaller than the adult. Wow, that was a big size difference. Um, so they do give a lot more life down here, as which is pretty much what I wanted. I wouldn't add this much just to have an aquarium just with this fish, uh, but it my aim to get this much is to g bring more life into other games, which I actually gonna show you now. And here we are in Luca Family Zoo. Uh, this is the platypus habitat, and you can see here how much extra life the Atlantic herring add to this habitat. I will say the Atlantic herring live in the Atlantic, and the platypus uh, live in uh, Australia, so therefore they aren't wouldn't naturally live together. Uh, that being said, I'm pretty sure no platypus would stop up and ask a fish if they actually belong there. Um, and I do believe some zoos actually add the animals they believe fit together rather than animals that natural would live together. Um, so here and you can see I added 10 males and 10 females uh, and then I just gonna let them reproduce oh sorry so here you can see how much life they bring uh, I did have an issue where and if you had tried fish much then you probably have the same can we find any now yeah I think we have them down here yeah here they are, they are not dead, they are still alive, but they do go on land up here. Uh, I do think it, you can see this is going to get a baby soon. Uh, offspring imminent as they call it, and this one is also female, but not pregnant. Um, so I don't know if that had anything to do with why they go on land. Uh, but it is mainly because we don't have any full aquatic animal in the game, so the mothers can use a rig that only go in the water. That being said, we only found two on land. I don't think we have any down here or anywhere else up here, uh, so it isn't that bad. And uh, I actually really enjoyed them. I actually think I added maybe a few too many. Um, based based on... Uh, what's it called? I think I added a few too many based on whether when they get the uh, babies. Then there will be too many over here. But then I can probably move some of them over here. Because I also added 10 of each, 10 females, 10 males over here, and um, where are they? They should be here somewhere. There's one. Mm -hmm. I did have to add uh, in both habitat. Uh, these, the old kind of auto underwater, I can't pick it now. Um, place them. You can see these kinds of underwater feeder, I had to 
uh, place for especially for the herring uh, because they don't fit with the new ones um, in both habitat and then I added some bolts and rubber doggies in the platypus habitat to make them happy over here I already got them uh, because I have that many different animals already so you can see here balls and doggies and all that kind of things we have some here and you can see here they go up here I also have seen them up here you can see um, and also in here um, so they do go on land which I find as an issue because what I wanted I wanted to bring more life down here uh, not up there I have plenty of life up there uh, but that being said I do enjoy them when they are in the water and I think I'm gonna keep using them I'm not gonna add them for smaller habitats uh, like over here we have the uh, platypus if I just go down here Oi. I wouldn't add them down here because then they would be too big for the um, compared to the body of water and the same in the rest of my habitats over here um, but for my big water habitats like the platypus and especially up here they actually work w real well um, when they actu actually are in the water so guys that's pretty much all I have for you today I really hope you enjoyed it like subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video I really hope to see you again, either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye!